everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into Quicksilver. Uh, he is definitely one of my favorite science champions. So let's take a look first at his details here, just so you guys can see what he looks like. Mine, of course, as you can see, uh, is rank four, SIG 200. He's got great prestige. All right, so let's look at his uh, synergy bonuses. Um, so with, huh, okay. Uh, with Black Bolt, increase the duration of non-damaging debuffs by 20%. So we'll get into it a little bit more, but Quicksilver puts non-damaging debuffs on his opponent. And so this is going to be nice to uh, increase the duration. When 50 or more whiplashes, those are the things, uh, the debuffs expire at the same time, inflict a non-stacking -spe uh, special concussion debuff, which reduces the ability accuracy by 50% uh, during specials. Uh, that can be useful. It won't be useful for our purposes today. Increase Brock proficiency. Okay. Because he can be a little squishy. Now this one here, Breakout. Whiplash damage increases by 25%. Ooh. And we've got my boy Wolverine over there. You got Professor X and you've got Magneto. Uh, Beast, I like you, but you need a little buff. Um, but I can easily see myself having the other three on the team. Probably Magneto more than anyone else. And then gain 8.3% degeneration resistance for every 100 momentum charge ooh that could be useful depending on what you're dealing with now this one i've heard a lot about and uh if i remember correctly kabam had to fix it i never used this synergy when it was uh when it first started out so i don't know what it was like um, but the first special attack, after reaching max uh, momentum charges, has its attack power increased by 70%. Wow. We're going we're gonna to play around with that, I think. Yeah. I think we can do that. And then, of course, uh, more uh, perfect block chance. Okay, so let's take a look at his abilities here. So his signature ability... Uh, terminal velocity duration increases by five seconds and wither max stacks increases by three. Um, increasing his wither max stacks, I believe, just increases his damage, which is nice. When 60 stacks or more of whiplash expire at the same time, inflict a stun debuff. That can be useful. While the opponent is suffering from a personal stun, their combat power rate is reduced by 50%. And striking the opponent with light and medium attacks locks them in place and increases Quicksilver's speed. So, in my opinion, this is all very nice, but not necessary. Quicksilver is still really good, even without being awakened. That's just my personal uh, opinion. But, at the same time, you want him awakened, take a SIG up, he's good for prestige as well. Okay, 100% chance. This is what catches a lot of people when you're fighting him. 100% chance to evade attacks when dashing or while stunned. 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this ability has a 15-second cooldown. So you can bait it out, and right after he evades, you got 15 seconds to wail on him. Guaranteed critical hits ignore this evade. Thank you, Ghost. And um, hit monkey, if you're uh, playing him right. And triggers the cooldown. So they're really good against him, as you can see. This is why. You don't have to deal with that evade. Uh, when dodging back, Quicksilver cannot be struck by attacks. Whenever he successfully dodges an attack, he inflicts a wither debuff of 35% potency, lasting 10 seconds. With a max of 3, of course, you can increase it with that... Um, Synergy. Dexterity Mastery is replaced, but points in it increase the potency by 
5% flat. So uh, this is something that I, I remember that's also interesting. Uh, when he dashes back, you know, if you have the dexterity mastery, it'll pop up a precision buff. It doesn't do that for him. He doesn't get a precision buff. When the opponent loses a bar of power, pause all trauma and wither debuffs for 10 seconds. All right, so we talked about this whiplash all the time. Here's what the whiplash is. His basic attacks have a 35% chance to inflict this debuff. And it deals damage, as you can see, after 12 seconds. Dodging an attack, so that means triggering that dexterity mastery, and second medium refreshes it. So that's how you can build it up. The medium light medium combo or reaching 50 causes all stacks to expire and burst into damage after two seconds. Okay, so if you've ever seen me play with Quicksilver in the arena, you may see me build up to a special one. And what I'll do is I'll do a medium light medium into a special one. And then I'll be like, die. And what happens is right after the uh, special, you know, they get knocked down. They never get back up because by the time they're trying to get back up, all of the whiplashes burst. So that is what is happening there. So remember that medium light medium will cause them to burst after two seconds because sometimes you don't want to build up to 50 stacks. Sometimes you have enough on it, uh, on your opponent to take them out and you need them to just go ahead and, and burst. That's what you do, medium light medium. When Quicksilver would evade or when the opponent dodges an attack, 50% chance to inflict a whiplash debuff. When the opponent well time blocks, one whiplash is removed. We don't want the AI parrying us because that's what that is. Okay, so this momentum. Dodging backwards grants 12 momentum charges and basic hits grant one. As a defender, gain 100 charges every 15 seconds unless the attacker gains 20 hits in the combo meter by the end of this duration. So that'll help you when you're fighting against him if you don't want him to be gaining uh, a lot of momentum like that. Uh, you want to get those 20 hits quick. Every 100 charges reduces evade cooldown by one second. At 300 charges, Quicksilver cannot miss and inflicts a slow debuff. That is big. Remember that. That is such a good utility. It is not funny. Just think about that. He will inflict a slow debuff. No more unstoppable, as long as they're not passive. I think the passives still do it. But no more unstoppable. You can deal with Thing, because I have with him. Very, very nice. Okay? And all you have to do is get the 300 charges. And it's, it's a permanent slow on them. That's it. At 600, he can trigger the parry mastery against non-contact attacks. And his evade ability, accuracy, cannot be reduced. So those non-contact would be like um, uh, Ebony Maw, I would think. And um, trying to think who else. But anybody that does not make contact when they hit. So a lot of the, um, I think the Mystics, he'll be able to parry those as well if he wasn't able to before. At 900 charges, enter terminal velocity mode, increasing the dodge and vulnerability window by 33%, and retaining all momentum abilities for 10 seconds. While active, gaining charges instead pauses terminal velocity for 0.25 seconds. We might do that one as well. Uh, heavy attacks. Double the momentum charges gained for 20 seconds. So it is very common, and I'll do it, to start off the fight with a heavy attack. If you can parry, do a parry heavy, 
and then start building up your momentum charges. And it'll be just that much faster. All right, so special one on activation, you gain 150. Last hit refreshes all the stacks of Wither and Whiplash. Terminal velocity uh, attack rating is increased by 200 and uh, I'm sorry, 2,881. And attacks become unblockable except against well-timed blocks. So that terminal velocity we see here at 900 charges. So that means that you build up to your 900 charges, enter terminal velocity mode, fire off your special one, and your attack rating is increased. And they are unblockable. Okay, so that's that's how you read that. Special two, first hit inflicts a trauma debuff. Trauma causes hits and whip, whiplashes to deal an additional 70% of the damage recently dealt as a burst of physical damage. That special two, we're gonna we're gonna see that one too. In terminal velocity, uh, whiplash and whiplash are pauses. Uh, sorry, are paused during this special, and the last hit doubles the amount of whiplashes on the opponent. Nasty. And then your special three, you're gonna gain 900 momentum charges. And what does that do? It triggers terminal velocity. Um, for every 120 charges gained above maximum, terminal velocity is paused for one second, up to a maximum of 15. Okay? <clears throat> terminal velocity. <clears throat> so this is if you fire off the special three when you're in terminal velocity. Sorry, I had to get a little bit of water. <clears throat> talking too long um it'll inflict a stun debuff for six seconds whiplash ability accuracy is increased by 40 percent flat max stacks before it bursts double until terminally terminal velocity expires all right we're going to head into realm of legends i'm only going to bring in one synergy which is the scarlet witch one and let's play around with him a little bit okay let's head on in and I'm going to first build up and do the uh, special three uh, so you guys can see what that looks like. So parry, heavy, as I mentioned. Now, another way to do the uh, uh, build up the momentum is just going backwards. See? Boom. I'm already at 300. He's got the slow on him. Just like that. Just that quick. And you can see the whiplash is getting refreshed. Look at that. Evaded. That refreshed it. And then the uh, second medium refreshes it. Okay, so after I did the heavy, I'm just building up. I got medium. Momentum. Okay, just back it up. And we're in terminal velocity. Let's hit him with it. Look at this. <laughs> this just cracks me up. And then watch this. See how slow? <laughs> it definitely takes some getting used to. But look at how many whiplashes I have. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so it's 34. You saw how he evaded just now? He would have normally hit me because he, he tried to intercept me. So it's on cooldown, as you can see up there. Go. Hit him with the special two. Boom. And he's done. Just like that. Because I hit the uh, medium light medium, if I remember correctly. So that's that. 
love Quicksilver. Very, very, very nice. All right, so let me, uh, I'm going to play him a little bit differently here. I won't do the uh, special three. Okay, let me let me hit a get a heavy attack in. Boom, slow, just like that. All right, let's put some uh, whiplashes on him. Boom. The uh, whiplash is expired. See the damage? So instead of, because you can build up, and you can just keep building up if you want to. So, like, I got 12 whiplashes on her right now, right? And I can just keep on building these up. Yeah, 24, they got refreshed. Come on. You can see I refreshed them. So watch this. Now see right there is a problem. That's a medium light medium and she's dead. Um, that was a, a input issue where I swiped and I tried to do a medium light medium, but you'll notice it did a medium light light. That happens and, and it's annoying. And with him, you saw what happened. That means they didn't detonate. But the last one, I got the medium light medium, detonate, she's done. So you can end fights even faster by doing it that way. So, um, you can, you can build up to your special three. If you have a really long fight, you can do that. Build up, build up, build up, explode. If you have a need of a slow, you can, you know, get your heavy off and then just do, you know, dash back, dash back, dash back, build up and get the slow on him. Um, but he's actually really fun. He's actually really fun. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button. It helps me grow. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.